In some other news, President Cyril Ramaphosa has called for an urgent investigation into allegations of racism at the Brackenfell High School in Cape Town. This follows violent clashes yesterday between EFF members and some parents of learners at the school. The EFF has vowed to intensify its campaign today against alleged racism at the school. The confrontation was over a private matric function organized by some parents. Education MEC Debbie Schaefer says the function was privately organized at a private venue by private individuals. She's threatening to interdict the EFF should their protests continue and put matric exams in jeopardy. EFF Western Cape spokesperson Nosipo Makamba Bocha says they went to the school after various parents complained of alleged racism there. In a statement, the school governing body and staff distanced themselves from the allegations of racism. The EFF has condemned the attacks on its members protesting at the school. Police are maintaining a strong presence. Let's find out what's happening outside Brackenfell High School this morning. We cross over to Corbin August. He's our reporter there. Corbin, a very good morning to you. Talk to us about, uh, well, I can see this morning it looks a lot quieter. There's some uh, a police uh, presence there in the area. But talk to us about the atmosphere there this morning. Have you noticed anything irregular happening? Good morning. We are coming to you from outside Brackenfell High School where yesterday we experienced seeds of violent clashes between EFF supporters and parents within the area just outside the school. Well, as you mentioned, today the situation is completely different. This morning there's calm outside the school. People, it's a bit more peaceful. There is indeed still a large police presence and uh, some private security who are just uh, maintaining uh, the situation outside and monitoring whatever happens. But about what the, the actual issues are. I'm not sure if you've managed to speak to and, some of, the, uh, some of the, the parents or some of the, the students or some of the EFF members that had gathered yesterday. I know that the talk was that there was a party organized at the school, but a private function, not by the school. What it happened yesterday should not be used by any other uh, political groupings to sow divisions or to cause polarization within, between the races. Uh, yes, indeed, we had uh, Minister Debbie Schaefer, the Education Minister as well, uh, condemning the incident, also confirming that, in fact, what happened was a, it was a private event which was organized by uh, certain parents at a private venue. So what they're saying is that uh, the school is in no way responsible and was not funded or organized by the school at all. The governing body of the school also uh, have come in on the matter and said that uh, they've distanced themselves from all uh, racial allegations and uh, they've said that uh, they are not responsible, the school cannot be held uh, responsible for what happened. Also we've, got, we've heard from the EFF, we've condemned the incidents and vowed to return today but at this stage uh, no sight of uh, any EFF supporters, uh, no sight of any people who are here to continue with the protest action today. Uh, at this stage, all we've seen is a few uh, police vehicles maintaining uh, law and order, and we've seen the private security. We've also seen parents coming and dropping their kids off at school. Uh, it appears as if the, the day outside the school has appear, it appears as if everything has returned to normal, and uh, it's peaceful outside at this stage. Thank you. All right.